Hello, my name is Billy Termo with Cisco Tech. Persistent Chat is a feature that will allow users to create permanent chat rooms with moderated options. The data from these rooms are stored on external databases where the IM and Presence server connects and transfers this data. Let me show you how to set this up in your environment. Here we see a Jabber user with full CUCM and IM and Presence features. Notice that there is the existence of a chats icon, but there is no icon for the persistent chat rooms feature. This option is for ad hoc chat rooms that are available only as long as users are in it. So now let's go to the web administration page for I am in presence. The first thing that will need to be done is to connect presence to an external database from the messaging external server setup and external databases menu. Here click add new and fill out the external database settings. In this lab environment I have a PostgreSQL server so my settings will look like this. Once completed click Save and you will see Presence attempt to connect and authenticate with the database. As you can see, there is an error here, but this is expected. The database connection will need to be assigned to the persistent chat feature before it can provide any status. Ignore this for now and create another database instance if you desire. However, if you wish to maintain a high availability environment in a multi-node subcluster, all nodes must be assigned to the same database. Now that the external database is configured, I can enable persistent chat. This is under the messaging, group chat, and persistent chat menu. Click the enable persistent chat box here. And then you will see that the persistent chat database assignment menu is available where it was grayed out before. There are also several limits above that become available. Choose the external database fields and change them from unassigned to the database instance we created. You can also make any changes to the options on this page. Once finished, choose Save. Let's go now to Messaging and then to Group Chat System Administrators. Notice here that we have a yellow notification, but we will get to that later. Here, let's add an administrator that will be able to manage the persistent chat system. Finally, it is time to review the notification we received. As you can see, enabling the persistent chat feature requires restarting the Cisco XCP router. Let's do that now. This is service impacting for Jabber users, but it should only take a few minutes. It will need to be done for all nodes that have been assigned to the database. Now that this is complete, we are ready to enable persistent chat for Jabber. This requires one line in the Jabber config XML file, like so. Now this file will need to be uploaded to all call manager nodes that are running the Cisco TFTP service. Upload the Jabber config XML and restart the Cisco TFTP service. Once done, we can go back to the Jabber user as before and make one final step all we need to do is exit Jabber and restart. This will allow Jabber to download the updated Jabber config XML file and enable persistent chat. And there we are. You can now see the chat room icon here with the options to browse and add new chat rooms. And all other Jabber users will see this with the Jabber restart. Thank you for watching.